So, I don't know. I don't know if this video is going to help anybody, but um, maybe it will. So, um, I think I've got like a unique perspective about anxiety because I feel like I've been to the absolute limits of anxiety that 99.9% .9 of people in the world haven't been to. Um, And I think the real crux of it was I used to smoke a lot of weed when I was young, I mean like in school and my girlfriend used to grow weed so it's like free weed, you know and uh, one night, uh, not with her, with my friends I took uh, like some acid and the acid wasn't that strong, you know like dripping a little bit but not like out of control or anything but like um the next night like I got to my girlfriend's house and we're, we're cleaning the weeds I clean the weeds when um after you've you've grown it and you've dried it you harvest it by like just cutting the buds off and the little leaves um off the stalks whatever and while I was doing this like obviously I'm smoking bongs and fucking smoking weed and shit but um I'm like chewing the stalks uh chewing them I've got like a whole mouthful of like chewing gum of stalks and I'm making tea out of the little leaves I'm just going like full retard and I suddenly like just flipped into like massive heavy trip which lasted about eight hours and it wasn't pleasant right like it was pretty hardcore and anyone who's had a bad trip will understand if you have not a bad trip you might not um, even if you had a bad trip you might not understand like I've had a bad trip I had that bad trip and even I don't understand how bad it was at that time it was fucking that bad that I don't even know how bad it was but um, Yeah, what came after was kind of worse. So it's like, uh, after you've like had a really fucking heavy bad trip, you can have what's called a persistent hallucinogen. Oh, what the fuck's it called? It's basically like a what they call flashbacks, but it's basically what it really is is post traumatic stress disorder. It isn't that the drug is still in you. It's just that like you had such an out there experience that your mind keeps revisiting it. To kind of make some sense um, of what insanity has been through and uh, or like really bad trauma that it's been through and I had that for like well I would say badly for like about six months right and but what it was is that just the anxiety like next level anxiety of I'm going to go back into it, like, because it would be a few times a day where you would, where I would just fucking go kind of back into it, right, or, or back into that insane level of anxiety, which is ten times more anxiety than you can put into words, right, uh, and one of the worst things is, like, worrying about it coming on, the anxiety of having to go back there like a few times a day right <clears throat> and um this happened for a while and uh, then I, I went to a friend of mine who who kind of disappeared like he'd uh he'd kind of retreated into like his 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 house and uh from society and but i knew that he'd had a similar experience a few years before that so i thought well he's the guy i talked to and I was to talk to him about what I was experiencing. And the only advice he gave to me was, um, don't fight it, feel it. So like, don't fight it, feel it. And he also said like, the only way you can look at this is you're lucky in a way to experience this. It's, it's an experience that many people do not have. 
you're experiencing it, just experience it. Don't fight it, don't try to stop it, just let it happen. Um, almost be grateful in a way. Uh, so I went back um, to my life and I followed his advice, you know, like it was one of the worst things of trying to worrying about a massive panic attack coming on. Like it's hard to describe how bad a, a full ball panic attack is. It's like, it's not just like you're going to die. It's like it's worse than if you did. It's just, you can't describe it. So you can have an anxiety about it coming on, like you can feel it coming. Then you start worrying about it and it kind of makes it come on. You kind of fight it and it brings it on. And what I did, I was just like, I took his advice and I was like, fuck it. When I could feel it, I was like, bring it on. Bring it on. Like, 100% fucking test me, let's go. I'm going to experience this, right? Um, It's the way I'd think about it, it's like it, it gets so bad when you have like a full on panic attack. It's like you're on the floor, you're having the shit kicked out of you, right? And I would just like think, I'm on the floor, I'm gonna get up, <clears throat> I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna say, Give me more, is that all you've got? You know what I mean? Like, is that all you've got? And um it won't make any sense to anyone who hasn't had a panic attack how much it takes to actually do that but yeah um and i did that and so i'd have like several panic attacks a day but i'd fucking bring it on like come on let's go deep into it like let's run into the fire and it would just by doing that it became less and less then it'd be like once a day then it'd be like a few times a week and the more I tried not to run away from it and just run into the fire and just fully experience it, the less it would happen. And, and then eventually it got less and less to the point I could like live a normal life again. <clears throat> and um, I'd say like, I've had panic attacks since, you know, um, throughout my life, but like not very often. And I'll tell you one thing though, it's still the same fucking intensity. Like it's like you're dying, but like worse. Um, I think the last one I had was just like two months ago, you know, but I don't fight it. I can just feel it let's go fucking this is an experience and and i and then i get through it and um i don't know like i just think maybe this could be some good advice to someone who's having that like i'm not saying don't go to the doctor and get on fucking anti-anxiety drugs but that's not i'm gonna fucking play it <clears throat> i don't fucking trust doctors uh, I just f went through it and, and like right now like I can I can have an anxiety attack which is like impossible to describe how terrible it is but I can be reading a newspaper article and I can keep reading it when it's happening almost you know like it doesn't completely take me over when it happens, it's like, uh, what, I don't know, expose, exposure therapy. <clears throat> but yeah, the, the biggest thing is like, it's almost what's worse than the anxiety attack is worrying about the anxiety attack, which is where my friend kind of literally saved my life when he just said, just kind of run into the fire, you know, like, don't fight it, feel it and kind of be appreciative that you're one of the people that gets to experience this insane level of terror that most people uh, never get to experience, man.